Hello beautiful people and welcome back to another video with your girl Siobhan. Thank you so much for clicking on the video today and joining me for this entryway transformation. As you can see my entryway is a mess. I used to have pictures on the walls but they were knocked down when we were moving out the furniture and it just never looked good to me. It was okay but it never looked great like yes yeah, so I'm walking into something beautiful. So I decided it was time to do my entryway and get it to the standard of where I wanted it to be. And I did it on a budget and I want to show you everything that I did and let you know that you can do this to your space as well. So if you're interested in seeing this transformation, definitely keep on watching and let's get into it. So the first thing I did was clear out the entryway. I also let the kids um, go through the shoes and see if they could fit any, if anything needed to be give, given away or taken to their bedroom because the, it was no longer in season. They weren't gonna be wearing it. So that is what we did. The shoe organizers are from Ikea and I purchased those for $30 a piece. I have two of them. So after removing all of the command strips and old old stuff that was on the wall, it was time to paint. So the house, the trim for the house was brown, as you can see with the doors and everything. And yes, I love the white trim better and it's much brighter. So I went to Lowe's, I picked up a can of, oh, it was just a regular can of paint. I'm gonna leave it linked down below. And it had primer and paint in it already, just a can of white paint and painted the trim. I didn't do any sanding or anything like that. I just started painting, guys. I cleaned it off, of course. I didn't show that part. But after that, I just started painting. I also picked up the brushes from there as well. A good quality paintbrush goes a long way, guys. It makes things so much easier. So don't skimp on the paintbrushes either, guys. I'm not saying spend $30 for them, but definitely try and get you a decent quality paintbrush. So I painted the trim and I painted the door and I did about four coats on each because I wanted it to be, again, very crisp, crisp white. I also painted the vent for the heater and I believe I did just two coats on that and that turned out perfect. And the paint was only around $20 for the can of paint. did the first coat of paint I started to put up the wallpaper this wallpaper will be linked in my Amazon store I did purchase 10 rolls of wallpaper I only used about eight and a half of them but I did purchase 10 so definitely measure and you can get them you know you can get them based on the size of your room your walls whatever you're looking for but definitely measure before you purchase because it's always in my opinion better to have more 
than to not have enough. So I still have an extra roll and maybe like a uh, a tad bit left of, you know, the ninth roll. So <laughs> I'm very glad that I purchased 10 rolls. So I'm going to take my time and put this up. It is super easy to work with, not sponsored. Again, it's going to be linked in my Amazon store, but it is super easy to work with. It is a beautiful, beautiful texture. I love, love this wallpaper and you'll get to see a better picture of it, but it is actually gold, gold and white. So I love it or maybe like a cream or off white, something like that. But I absolutely love the wallpaper. I did the that was probably the third coat of paint on the door I started I actually got paint again from Lowe's and I painted the wall now I know you can't tell but it did have a slight tan tint to the wall or cream tint and I wanted it to be a fresh bright white paint so I did paint the wall and it wasn't too much so it worked out perfectly I absolutely love it <laughs> Now it is time to clean up and vacuum, remove the tape from the floor. As you can see, I did paint the trim on the left side of the room and I vacuumed. There is a tiny bit of paint on the carpet, just a tiny bit. If you don't know, use alcohol on the carpet. If you spill some, let it sit for a minute or so and then you can scrub it up and the paint will come out of the carpet. So just one of my little tips I can give you right there. I did remove this. I cleaned off the window and there's actually two doors when you come into my home. So there's the first door, the little little entryway right there, and then there's the second door. And I will be changing those curtains out in there as well, but I didn't get to that in this video. So now I'm going to start decorating the space. So then I decided to do some wall sconce covers because I am very hesitant about doing anything with the electrical. Of course, you know, I don't mind painting and decorating and things like that, but I didn't want to touch the electrical in the house. So I bought some or all of the all of the stuff that I bought was actually from Dollar Tree. So I bought the foam board and then I bought the cutting cutting mats and I believe you get two in a pack for one dollar. I bought the bling wrap and I bought three of three or four of those and of course they're a dollar a piece and I had some extra contact paper the stainless steel contact paper that I used in my kitchen to actually add some little bling or mirror effect to it so very cheap very inexpensive and of course I used a hot glue gun to glue everything together but very cheap and inexpensive and it makes such a statement on the wall guys it's it's so pretty i just absolutely love it so yes 
I am just going to do this little DIY. If you need a full tutorial, then I will have to do another video for you guys. But again, it's super, super easy.
The majority of the decorations or the wall art did come from Dollar Tree and Burlington. So I picked up all of the picture frames from Dollar Tree. They were a dollar. I actually um, got my pictures from Walgreens. So I just did the little app on my phone, selected which pictures I wanted, sent them over to Walgreens, and they were ready in an hour. Got those done. And then I picked up a few pieces of art, such as this one from Burlington. Very cheap and inexpensive, guys. So that's a great place to look if you're looking for some wall art. Burlington, Ross, TJ Maxx, those are the places that you want to go to first. So I was very meticulous about the pictures that were on the wall. I wanted them to be, of course, straight centered, but I also wanted the left side to mirror the right side, which turned out perfectly. I have everyone from my family, uh, not everyone, let me, let me change that, but I have Chris and I and our children, and then I have his mother, my mother, and my grandmother. Excuse me, I do want to add other family members I wanted just to be a wall of family on there so my sister-in-laws my brother my sisters my nieces and nephews I just wanted to be a wall of family so yes I am loving the way this is coming together it's just super easy really inexpensive and it makes such a statement when you walk into the room So I picked up this little bonsai tree from Gabriel Brothers and I believe it was like 11 or $12 and then I got this clock and this um, box from Ross and the box was only $10 I think the clock might have been $10 as well but just cute it has that pop of gold that I'm loving I keep all of my essential oils in there as well as the water from my diffuser and it just doesn't look cluttered. I was trying to make it um, very functional but not cluttered. <laughs> final piece is the rugs or should I say are the rugs I picked up these rugs from Bur nope Gabriel Brothers Gabriel Brothers and they were only ten dollars nine ninety nine I purchased two of them and they just make that statement that black and white statement so black and white and gold was the theme for the entryway guys and I think it turned out perfectly now let's take a look at the reveal
Thank you so much, beautiful people, for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some inspiration. And I hope that you will try to, you know, spruce up your entryway. You can do it on a budget, super inexpensive, and make it just for you. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.